Franco Cavallari coming to you from Biologic to talk a little bit about a trend. We're hearing a lot about the microbiome, the probiotic culture of the gut. And I wanted to touch upon something that's critically important for people to understand, and that's perspective. Perspective. I mean, people are making claims for probiotics and their consumption leading to the recovery from disease, indication-specific claims, uh, supporting immune system, and they're all true. I mean, the probiotic culture works as a symbiotic organism or group of organisms that support the body in ways you wouldn't believe. Um, every single uh, live animal, plant or animal, has a microbiome that it depends on for survival. It supplies you know, synergistic activity and chemicals that improve the life and longevity of the animal or plant. So in terms of your probiotic culture, the critical thing to understand is maintaining it maintains the full potential that you're built with, the potential within you to be optimally uh, functional in life, to, to have optimal health, optimal performance. I mean, that probiotic culture is related to immune system function, cognition, insulin efficiency. If the probiotic culture um, gets damaged through uh, chemicals and pollutants, poor diet, stress, stress will even uh, contribute to the damage of that probiotic culture. What happens is that the microbiome uh, becomes compromised and it diminishes, leaving space for the pathogens to infiltrate. And the interesting thing is that this probiotic culture uses your prebiotic fiber. This is soluble fibers that this culture uses to make other compounds that are important for your body. Those compounds are typically short chain fatty acids. Butyrate is one of them. And you've seen butyrate come up abundantly in my research, in biologics work, in our technologies. We've bound and complexed butyrate to almost every compound. Why? Because butyrate supports that probiotic culture. When the microbiome that probiotic culture in your gut makes the short chain fatty acids such as butyrate, the four carbon short chain fat. That creates an environment, the right pH, think about this, it's creating the right pH for the probiotic culture to flourish and the wrong pH for pathogens to infiltrate, you see. So it's that environment that's created by the probiotic culture that creates avoidance of pathogens and an environment that's conducive to building or rebuilding that probiotic culture. Those short chain fatty acids can actually become systemic. They penetrate and they support insulin function. They support immune system activity. They support cognition. In fact, there's research that I published in peer reviewed journals that shows that the proportion of propionic acid to butyrate can shift and is related, that shift is related to uh, people who have, for instance, Asperger's disease um, and other cognitive or behavioral disorders where butyric acid is a little lower and propionic acid is higher. You change the probiotic culture to produce more butyric acid and things start to improve, such as metabolism, insulin function, immune system activity, cognition, behavior, that probiotic culture is a synergistic, symbiotic, requisite organism class that you need to maintain. Taking the probiotics is not a therapeutic application. Taking them is restoring what you should have had naturally as a symbiotic relationship to allow your potential within, your genetic potential within, to be optimized for immune function, insulin function, cognition, and more.